So, earlier on I filmed that. There it is, it's got scuff marks on it. Um, and now the man himself, yes, that man, is now in his office. Good to see you, Ron. Look, let's just, I filmed this before, before as well, when we came in here earlier. We had a route round your office when you want in here, actually. Or, or you can film so, the, 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 the that's the one I always remember. Yeah, how much of that did you spray and how much of that did you drink? Oh, I think I drank most of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just tried to open it with barely. Spill it. Yeah, I was, yeah, didn't want to spill it too much, but yeah, I remember. I think we had this bottle and and I set one of them over the thing and it fell and it hit somebody on the head and just dropped them. So we've just been talking about when you come over to Farley and how like the whole patriotism, patriotism come out with you, and obviously with that, what what's it like to 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 go abroad? and win it's, it's US, awesome. win for your yeah, country. It's, uh, it's, uh, that's the, the biggest prize for me was always going to donations and just being part of the team and representing the US and um, you know just that feeling, that pride of you know winning and, and bringing it home for the team, especially like I said yeah. in, in, in France in 88, that was a big, big race. See, the, the trouble is he couldn't let it go at Farley. No, no <laughs> I had to, like I said, you know, I seen a couple of my teammates that were laying on the ground and uh, you know, I was stuck in first gear, but I wanted to try to stay out there and get some points so we could win. And then, uh, turns out my my finishes didn't matter anything. <laughs> we had Rhino to do do the damage for us. So, so, that, so he still gets to ride. That's screenshot. Yeah, That's the that man in a couple, action. A couple weeks ago at the Avocado Throttle Track. So yeah, there's that a sounds a good place to go, yeah, doesn't it? It was pretty cool. It was really fun. And I still ride out of Barona, my local track that I yeah. grew up at, and. Just try to go out and have fun and not so much racing anymore. Just get out and do some motos and well, have I some think, fun. Yeah, I think it's fair to say you don't need to. You've achieved, achieved not, I let's, let's, let's say the, the, career, yeah. the career was was a, was a not bad. That's an understatement. Look at this. See, I remember uh, coming home from school in the UK, watching VHS tapes yep. for you guys, yep. obviously. Super Anaheim 86 was one of my particular favorites with the kit that you had on. That was your first year on? Kawasaki? Yeah. yeah, I think I might have won yeah. my heat race that night. You did? But you did? Yeah, I didn't have anything for RJ and Bailey that night, that's for no, sure. No, that was something else. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see, all the all the lids here, but this is, so what? how old's that one? If you look inside, I think it says 1975. I don't know how many years oh I've worn. Oh my God, it does as well, look at that. Yeah. Christ, there's no padding in it. <laughs> 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 Bloody hell. Um, yeah, some amazing stuff. Yeah, See, fine. that's that's the wrong machine I remember because I started watching Supercross. Well, actually, I probably caught you on your last couple of years on Honda, but obviously when you went to Team Green. Yeah, that picture uh, that picture hurts every time I look at that picture because uh, that's Daytona '89, and I led to the last lap, and that year the power valve gear melted, and the power valve stuck shut, and I went from winning Daytona. Uh, in one lap to fourth place off of the podium. And so I've only been on the podium once at Daytona. That was Ugh. in 85 when I was with Honda. I got third and that year in 89, I had it. And uh, yeah, the, the, the power valve gear melted. We've just been talking about Jason Anderson at San Diego. So you definitely know how he feels. Yeah, I know. Like I said, every year when Daytona comes around, man, I just, the one that got away, you know, that really... You still think that? Oh, yeah, for sure. It really hurts. I mean, that's like one of the biggest yeah. races we have. And, you know, to be able to lead it and, and have it in my hand and, and and not even be my fault that, you know, something happened. Which... You were younger then. Were you more, uh, I've had to say, um, a little bit more shoot from the hip? What was it like when you came back after that one to the pit? Crew? Uh, you know what? I don't even remember. I, <laughs> I, I just, I know I was super bummed out and... Um, you know, but what are you going to do? Yeah, you, know, exactly. you can't do anything about it. And, um, you know, I was proud that I had led 19 laps and that I made it because that's a tough race. And anybody that knows me knows I wasn't a big trainer. So if I <laughs> if I made it up 19 laps leading, then that, 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 I was an accomplishment. I just wish I could have got that last one. I like that statement. <laughs> anybody that knows me, I wasn't much of a trainer. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 that's why he's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> but let, this is what we're into more now. Fishing and golf. Yeah, and a bit that, of riding. That and golf. Yeah, I love to play golf. I'm not very good at it, but uh, <laughs> I've hit a couple of good shots in my life. <laughs> only that's what one keeps you coming. Shot. That's exactly one what. That's exactly what he was saying in the week. It's the yeah. one shot that keeps well, you coming hey, back. I, I have a hole in one. So. Oh, here we go. Proof. 
There it is. There it is. Uh, there hole go. 15 at Pine. <laughs> Six, 75 <laughs> yards. <laughs> look at it here, look, still hey. rocking it with the sleeves up as well. That's it's that's a, that's a Lachine look. It's a, it's a hole in one. Yeah. I think I have two hole in ones and two eagles. Look at that. Yeah, one, two, five, so, rookie of the year. This is like the one. This, years apart, yeah. Though. My first one was in so 1980. I filmed this earlier, but still, that's that's when like that's when it really started. But here we are, look. Really burst onto the scene. That white white JT kit. Awesome. Yeah, it's cool. My, uh, it's cool stuff. Trophies. Uh, the, the silver one. I Which won, one? Uh, the silver tall yeah. trophy over here. Oh, this from one. The Houston oh, Astrodome oh, in 1970. Uh, 70, seven, that's a 78. 78. Yeah. yeah. I was riding a YZ80 in there. I was in fourth grade. I brought that to fourth grade show and tell. 100 cc. The other one's from the I-1 125. Both of the back ones are from the Astrodome, the other one's from the Coliseum. You know you've done well when you've got a trophy. That is actually taller than me. But then, to be fair, I'm not. Oh, it's, it's not I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly a six footer. <laughs> you know, so uh, uh, look at that. No, no. Two, two proper legs. Japan. So that's that, when's that's, that Japan? Yeah, it's in Japan, yeah, in uh, the 87 Tokyo Supercross. Do you still get asked about that kit, the, the bad bones kit? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean the JT guys, you know, they still have some, the guys that are doing the JT stuff now, there is some, they have some designs and just a few years ago I was, when I was still wearing JT, they had a, like a, you know, a comeback of the, the bones kit and it was kind yeah. of day glow and I really liked it. I thought it was cool. I have a couple of photos that I really like that gear. So yeah, it was cool. What I want to know is how special was that 125 Honda? <laughs> really special. Too bad you'd like last week I just had an eighty I had an eighty five one twenty five in my office for the last month. It was a bike that Honda loaned was look my practice it. bike. It was just a production bike. But that was when HRC could have something. Look, look at this here as well. I love the pants. That whole year. I mean I rode the, the that USG. kit, everything. Ugh. Yeah, I rode the US at Carlsbad that year on the on the five hundred R C bike. Holy shit, man, <laughs> that thing was gnarly. So yeah, the Supercross bike was bitching. The 125 was, you know, a lot of fun and handled so good, and the motor, and then to ride that that 500 at Carlsbad, man, I was like, I mean, I make a break for I will crash, but <laughs> that thing hauled ass. A couple of years after that, then they went to production, didn't they? And you couldn't have the year after that. The year so after 86. That, that was the last one. Yeah, 86. They went to production, which is when we moved to moved to Cali, but. Yeah. yeah, we had some really special bikes at Honda. Even the 84 bikes were yeah. were really good. And we did some four-stroke nationals. In 84, I rode the four-stroke national at Carlsbad. And I think we had like a C&J frame with the factory uh, suspension from the race team. And then it had like Bubba Schobert's dirt track motor in the thing. Oh, that thing, man, it revved to the moon. Ah, oh, it's been awesome looking around here. Thanks for your time, Rob. Yeah, good Appreciate to see you guys, that. man. There you go, a little look in uh, the dogger's office. I'll <laughs> sign off now, see if I can find some more good stuff.